Well, here's my latest creation. Uh, it's nothing historic, but uh, well, actually it is historic. Uh, between 1880 and 1883, a guy named James Wimshurst invented this machine. Uh, of course, this is my reproduction of it. Uh, somewhat updated. Uh, it's got plexiglass or Lexan discs as opposed to glass like the original. Uh, other than that, it's it's uh, fairly authentic. I'm sure his didn't look exactly like this, but uh, nevertheless, it works. Uh, let me demonstrate it. I probably can't see the sparks real well. I think you can probably hear them. Just turn the light off. May or may not be able to see that. But uh, these these two things on each side are capacitors, and I've got a wire back here that I can flip over, and it connects the two capacitors and completes the circuit. What that does is it'll store that electricity you, you just heard and it'll let it go all at once. It'll, it'll give you a much stronger spark. Same voltage, just higher amperage. A little more impressive, huh? about a two inch, two and a quarter inch spark. Uh, right here I've got a, uh, a little one I made. Uh, probably can't see the spark on that. It's not near as impressive. I, I would definitely go for building the, uh, the larger machine. Uh, I'll be covering more on where to get materials uh, and how to build this thing in future videos.